What's the scene everybody? It's your boy Shaq here and today we'll be diving into my first impressions of my brand new Fujifilm XS20 camera. So I've been blessed enough to be working on a cruise ship currently and I got the chance to take this camera out with me in Palma, Spain. So I'm going to take you guys along with me to look at some test footage and also look at the RAWs and my edited versions of those pictures. And yeah, let's go. Let's get into it. So my intention was actually to get the X-T5 or the X-H2S but this camera has been generating such a buzz amongst the Fujifilm creators I had to get it and try it out for myself. First things first, this camera is super tiny and lightweight. It feels fantastic in the hand especially with a smaller prime lens. I used it primarily to shoot video with my 16mm 1.4 by Fujifilm however when I threw my 35 f2 on it it was literally perfect for everyday shooting for travel style videos it's, it's, it's a great camera to have as a travel content creator or a photographer. It's perfect for those reasons. I used this camera in conjunction with my X-T4 and it was a joy to use. The build quality felt solid and the touchscreen is really nice. XS20 packs a punch under the hood. We're looking at a 26 megapixel X-Trans CMOS sensor paired with Fuji's latest X-Processor 5. This combo promises excellent image quality and blazing fast performance. Speaking of performance, the autofocus is seriously impressive. Coming from the X-T4 where subject tracking was not the best, the subject tracking feels smooth and accurate, even in lower light. Let's talk about the video capabilities. Videographers are going to love this camera. The XS20 boasts some impressive video specs. We're talking 6.2 open gate up to 30 frames per second and 4K up to 60 frames per second. Internal 10-bit recording and various log profiles give you tons of flexibility in post-production. So it's still early days for me using this camera, but so far the image quality has been fantastic. The autofocus has been inspiring, especially coming from other brands where you feel like Fuji is playing a bit catch up in the autofocus department. The new AI based autofocus is extremely good. It tracks really well and is very accurate for the most part. You're getting there Fuji. So of course no camera comes though it's quirks. There's a couple of things I'm still figuring out on this camera. For example, there's no D-pad in the back so I'm trying to figure out how to navigate the menu system with just the little touch thingy. What do you call that? The dial? The wheel? Who is this camera going to be for? I believe that this camera is mostly for travel content creators, vloggers, People who are trying to get into Fuji for the first time, I feel like this is the best Fujifilm body to buy as your first purchase. You have many features that's not even available in full frame cameras. I feel like it's the best bang for your buck. However, if you need a weather seal body or you prefer a camera with more traditional controls or dials, I'd suggest you look at other options in the Fujifilm lineup. 
for example the X-T5. Overall, I'm really impressed with the Fujifilm X-S20 so far. This is just my first impressions. I'm going to dive into the camera more and more over the next couple months and I will definitely be dropping a full and final review about everything on this camera. I'm excited to spend time with it and see what I can produce, especially that 6.2K open gate. It's a game changer for creatives because now you can crop for vertical, horizontal, chef's kiss. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts on the XS20 in the comments below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it down there as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more camera reviews and adventures in the future. I'm going to be posting a lot more on this channel. This is going to be my home and I hope to bring you guys on the journey with me.